Minecraft. Check it out. Indeed, I am checking out Good's 404 Survival Challenge. And Good, just FYI, I'm really enjoying this map. I'm enjoying it a whole lot more than I thought I was going to. And so it's been fun. In today's episode, at the beginning, some of you will be frustrated with me, and rightly so. But don't worry, I'll figure it out by the end. Let's get started. Welcome back. Here I am in the Victory Monument house. I went back to that room that we died a couple times in last time. Now that it's pretty much lit up, there were a couple of monsters left in there, but I went ahead and lit the rest of it up and fetched the water with my new buckets. And so I brought the water back here. I don't have dirt to plant things in other than the dirt that these trees are in. And right now I'm not really hurting for food, so I'm not going to try to plant anything yet. But at least I have that. So far I've been very stingy with my materials, but at this point I do have a number of stone swords and pickaxes and things, and so after I finish going through the wood tools that I currently have on hand, I do plan to start using my stone stuff. But there are still a couple more areas that we haven't explored, and so for right now we're going to go try and explore them. And I'm going to leave one bucket in reserve, but I'll take one with me for right now. Okay, one of the places that we've barely explored is down here. I took a quick peek down here the other day. But now that I have more torches on me, I'm ready to take a better look. Right. And I recall that there was all this down here, and I couldn't see kind of very far through it all. And so I'm going to try to make a stairway down, and just get a look at what we are up against. Iron! Wow! Okay, so I lit a little way into here, and I used up all my torches, but I see an iron block, and so that is very exciting. And so my plan is to go ahead and install... There haven't been any mobs in here, and so that is pretty happy. And I'm going to go ahead and install some lava lighting so I can reclaim these torches. I will mine some iron, and then we will continue on. Okay, I've added in some lava lighting around where we first saw this iron, and I've got some more torches in hand and a couple of buckets of lava, some stone tools. And so I think we're ready to continue kind of exploring forward in this area. I did at one point when I was lighting things up see a zombie walking around over there. Yeah, I think I see one in the distance again right now. Yep. And so... And I think possibly I see something almost straight ahead in the distance. Not sure. Gotta keep my eye out. There's a lot of open area here. Oops, I hear a skeleton. I haven't seen him. There he is. It's gonna hit me. Maybe, possibly. Oh, there's a creeper too. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Alright, let's see if I can handle these guys one at a time, possibly. Or, if I can get the skeleton to hit the creeper, I wouldn't mind that either. Go ahead and use sprint hits. If I can keep the skeleton at bay like that. Okay, great. Can I hit the creeper from here? Alright. So, let's go ahead and make some more forward progress while we can. Trying to preserve my torches as much as possible. And wow. Oh crap, yuck. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. So apparently it goes back up over there. And yeah, I see some guys walking around. Crap, there's another skeleton. Uh, but now I have a sense of what is over there. And I remember there was one other place in this map where stuff kind of went down. And so I wonder if these two areas are connected. In any case, I'm going to try to dump some lava over there before I go. So I'm going to have to take out the skeleton. Hey, Skelly. Okay, great. And I'm just going to dump some lava down there so that I have it kind of lit up at the bottom. And that'll also afford me some protection from enemies. And... Yep. There are high ceilings in here, and they're actually... Ooh, and I see some more iron. Okay, that's fantastic if there's a bit of iron around here. Of course, I can't smelt it yet because I still don't have enough stone. I'm going to put a torch there to make sure that I see the iron. And there's definitely... I need to be on the lookout for kind of ledges where enemies could spawn kind of up higher. 
But yeah, in any case, it seems like we're finally going to get some iron. I need to continue to keep an eye out for stone. And I'm going to go to the other area that went down just to see if it connects to this area or if it's somewhere else. So I'm going to do a little cleaning up in here. I'll see you guys shortly. I apparently made a mistake somewhere along the way uh, and left some lava dribbling somewhere because it has come all the way down my staircase. And this is probably going to be a mess to try to clean up. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I'm not sure when and how I did that. Oh, boy. All right, I can deal with this. Okay, look at this. There's an ender pearl next to a broken thing. And so we can figure out what happened over here. Somehow an enderman spawned. He grabbed a brick. It took out my lava lighting. And killed the enderman. And then had this dribble all the way down my staircase. And so... That is crazy. Um, it also means that an Enderman spawns somewhere around here. And so, yeah, probably around here it might not be well lit enough. And so I obviously am going to go light this area up better. But that is an aspect I had never considered before, which is basically, at least in 1.8, a single Enderman spawn inside an area where you have a ton of lava lighting could easily mean death. So, I will keep that in mind. I will install some more lights and see you guys in a short bit. Okay, so I was previously on the other end of this hallway. This is the other area that I have not yet explored that seems to go down. And I can't really tell what might be over here. And unfortunately, all of my torches are currently in use over at the other site over near the iron. And, ooh, I see dirt. So that is actually kind of a useful find. Is that all that there is? It looks like that might be all that's down here. But still, one piece of dirt is something that I could use for farming in addition to my tree farm, although at this point I don't need all the trees that I have in my tree farm. So that's kind of useful. In any case, I know that there's nothing else down here, or it doesn't appear so, and so I'm going to gather up this torch and continue back to where we were. So I was fetching lava from over here, and there's a skeleton over here. I'm not sure if there's just some ambient darkness after I've removed some torches in here, or if he spawned over by the skeleton spawner, because it's not quite well lit enough anymore. But in any case, it makes me think about the fact that I was thinking about building a trap here. Oops. Ugh. And so I think I will actually do that. I'm going to build a trap, and so I'm going to stand back real quick and just see if with the spawner activated, if there's not enough light in here, that it's currently going to spawn something before I start building a trap around it. Looks like it's okay right now, so I'm guessing there must have been just one other random dark area in the room that caused the skeleton to spawn. But I am going to, yeah, build a trap and harvest some arrows, I think. And I'm not sure how effectively I'm going to be able to do that, but I will give it a try and I'll let you know. Since I didn't want to use my one and only water source, the trap that I built is simply a little dark room around the spawner where I can then just go and kind of stand at the uh, feet at where the skeleton are and kill them off that way. And so it's not particularly effective and it also means I can't easily get at the drops. Uh, I can occasionally reach some of them, but occasionally I'm going to have to stick a torch back in there in order to go and uh, pick up some of these drops. But in any case, that's not a decent way to go ahead and pick up a few arrows, I think, and some bones. Uh, the bones, I don't really have a whole lot that I need to grow, and so the bones are not particularly valuable to me right now. And I am going to use up a little bit of durability on an iron sword. But basically, when I want to pick stuff up, I believe, assuming there's no one spawned in there right now, I can just do that and kind of walk in, grab the drops, put that brick back, oh crap, grab the torch, and then do it all over again. And so that's kind of the basic idea. I think I will go ahead and collect a few arrows because I think that'll make it easier to progress on to different areas. So I'm going to do this and I will see you guys in a short bit. Good news, bad news. Uh, there's good news in that I already have 14 arrows and 8 bones. The bad news is, while I was futzing with the trap, I did manage to get hit by uh, a number of skeletons, and so I've lost a bit of my armor. But the very good news is, also while I was futzing with the trap, it turned out that there was a vein of coal right below the skeleton trap. And so now I have five pieces of coal, and so that's going to be another 20 torches. And with 20 torches, I can do a whole lot. Oh, wow, and there's an enderman. So enemies are still spawning in this room. 
and hmm. Yes, and as we saw before, an Enderman can be extremely destructive. All right, it's 1.8, and so I'm pretty sure even with the stone sword, I'll be able to take him out. But I'm also going to have to add some more light to this room and figure out where and how bad guys are spawning over here. All right, that wasn't too bad. So where did he spawn? Well, now that I have some more torches, I guess I just should go ahead and add... A little bit more light to this room. If I need to, I can always come back and replace some with lava lighting so that I'm not using as many torches. Something just occurred to me. The iron cave that's down here kind of goes below this room. And so I bet I can kind of dig a tunnel across or down over to the area that was dark and uh, get over to the area and kind of be approaching it from the top. And so that's a strategy that hadn't occurred to me before. And so I am just going to go over to kind of the end of this room and kind of dig a downward staircase and see where I come out in the iron room that's below me. So I'm going to start doing that. I'll see you guys in a short bit. Okay, and after digging a staircase down, indeed, I seem to be coming up to some opening that I think is perhaps in the top of the same room. Hard to tell if it's exactly the same place. But based on where I came from, this should be about the same place. I'm going to try to open up a little bit more and see a bit more of what's going on in here. I don't want to waste a whole lot of torches lighting up the top, but I would like to... Oh, I know what I can do. Duh. Alright, this is the iron room. I see more iron over there. And so I'm just going to let that flow for a moment. And then scoop it back up, and then just get, take a peek, hello creeper, at what all is in here. I don't think the creeper can get me. And, alright, so we got a room with a bunch of mobs. And, yep, I do think that this is connected, so I think I actually will. I'm going to leave some lava kind of flowing down into the bottom over here. Actually, that'll probably create a ton of lava kind of flowing into the bottom over here. I can always pick it back up later. But then, now let's go back down the other way and basically see if I see the lava that I just left. Oops, crap. Oh, and my sword just ran out. Let's not die. Crap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't have any food on me either. Crap, he's still following me. <laughs> I know I have a sword in my inventory somewhere. Oh, and I do have food. I have zombie flesh. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious zombie flesh. Which will allow me to heal a tiny bit. Alright, I really need to go back to the base regardless. So, why don't I just run back to the base? And get resupplied. But yeah, it seems like we could have a number of ways to make interesting progress over there. Oh my gosh, there's another skeleton. That is unlucky. I don't know where he spawned. I guess, yeah, I've always seen guys kind of spawning over in the entryway over here because I haven't lit very far over to... I'll show you. Over down here. And so occasionally I see guys spawning over there. But let me go get resupplied, get some more food get another stone sword since this one's running out, etc, etc. And yeah, then we'll go continue making progress over there. Um, hello, guys. I'm an idiot. I got this water source, and what did I do? I started farming a watermelon. There's something much more productive I can do with some water. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I'm going to go do that. Okay, so my water is still helping my little tiny watermelon farm, but now I have a cobblestone generator. Uh, I don't know all the kind of best cobblestone generator designs, but this one seems to be working for me. Uh, I'm getting most of the cobblestone, uh, only a little bit of it seems to be kind of falling into the lava. And yeah, it seems to actually be producing the cobblestone pretty quickly as well. And so in any case, now that I have all this cobble, obviously I can create a furnace, which means I can create as many torches as I want. Oops, I should really cover up this lava source brick so that I don't accidentally fall in it. 
But yes, I can't believe that once I saw the water, like I didn't immediately think of that. I guess I've just never been in one of these challenge maps and I've never had a reason to ever create a cobblestone generator. And so it just didn't occur to me. In any case, now that I have a ton of cobble, let's go ahead and create a furnace. And yeah, now I have as many torches as I want because I can always create charcoal from my tree farm. And yes, that's just a total game changer. And so I'm going to spend some time, uh, yeah, getting supplied with a bit more cobblestone tools as well as some torches, and then we are ready to just kind of overrun this map. Okay, I have some supplies to go adventuring, and so I'm going to go back over to that area, and now with all these torches in hand, and I still have some more backup coal and uh, sticks for making more torches, uh, yeah, I expect we should be able to make a lot of progress now. So I'll meet you guys over there. And yes, I'd forgotten about it because it was a while ago, but a while ago for me anyway, that I dropped the lava down there from that staircase that I dug. And indeed, it does come down into the same room. And so I'm now coming into this room and it's nice and well lit. And so I think I'm going to put some torches at the base and then I'll go and scoop up that lava. Uh, and then we'll continue on kind of over in that direction. One of the things I'm not sure about is exactly how much iron I should expect that I'm going to get. Obviously there's, I don't know, like 10 or 12 pieces that seem to be around in this cavern that's exposed, and I'm not sure the best way that I should go about using the iron that I find. And so for the moment I'm probably going to just kind of hoard it and sock it away until I decide what I want to do with it. But I'm going to go ahead and mine up some of the iron that's in here as well and bring it back to the base.